Hello, my name is Michael Gross, Chairman of the Finance and Stewardship Committee. During this season of the year, as our hearts and minds turn to thoughts of thanksgiving, I would like, as we contemplate on thankfulness, to consider also our ministry theme word for the year, which is peace. I think Paul captures the essence of our thankfulness and peace in his letter to the Colossians from chapter 3, verse 15. Hear these words. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. I'd now like to introduce you to Lois Carnes, member of Myers Memorial United Methodist Church, to share words of thanksgiving with you. I'd now Good morning, Myers family. My name is Lois Carnes, and I am a member here at Myers Memorial United Methodist Church. I've been a member for probably over 30 years. When tithing is mentioned in a sermon, many church members will eyeball the pastor suspiciously. Others may moan in despair, thinking that the church is just wanting to guilt trip them into giving. I would have to admit that I could be like this. But what is tithing? Tithing is, in its simplest form, refers to giving a tenth of one's income or property of an offering to God. In today's economic climate, it is understandable to feel anxious about financial contributions. However, focusing on prayer and nurturing our faith becomes even more essential. This is a time to lean into our community to support one another, not just through financial means, but through acts of service, encouragement, and prayer. Let's take a minute to look at who is sitting beside of us. We are all different. We are all have many different talents that we use here at Myers. Growing up in a little church in Elkview, West Virginia, I can remember singing a song about Jesus loves the little people of the world. Red or yellow, black or white, we are precious in his sights. As always, we are very blessed to have such a wonderful church here at Myers Memorial United Methodist Church. The story of the widow in Mark 12, 41, 44 is a powerful reminder that the heart of giving matters more than the amount. Jesus highlighted the widow's two small coins as a profound example of sacrificial giving. This teacher teaches us the generosity is not measured by wealth, by, by, by the intent and sacrifice behind the gift. Her act illustrates the essence of faith, trusting in God's provisions, and being willing to give what we can, regardless of how big or small that may seem. Thank you, Lois, for sharing those thoughts. In the mail in the coming days, you'll be receiving a thank you card from the church. Also enclosed will be estimates of giving for next year. I would encourage you to thoughtfully and prayerfully consider what you will give for next year and return the stewardship card at your earliest convenience. Thank you.